the previous video, we've seen just how easy it is to set a work offset with our single cycle function. Now we're going to go into a bit more detail and see how measurements, setting work offsets, can be done from inside cutting programs if you want lights out operation. So on the table there, we've got our workpiece set up and Mike's going to take us through how we'd set the work offset. Sure, so as you said, we looked at single cycle last time. This time we're going to look at our program builder. So this allows us to add in multiple cycles into a single program that can then be run as part of the manufacturing process. So it could be called from the cutting program. Great, okay. So I have a, a program started here. So this is the environment. What we will have a quick look at. In the program setup is where you would define some of the settings. So the program name, we can see that it's G54 is the work offset that we're going to use. And we can set a retract position. So we've got all that set up. And I already have one feature in this program. We're going to add in an additional feature. So if I choose measurement cycles, so you can see it's a similar menu that we've seen before with single cycle. Yep, not a choice. I'm going to choose uh, the single surface. And what I want to do is use the probe to set the Z0 on top of the job. Right. So in terms of the probing direction, I'm going to choose Z. And I'm going to set 0 as the position. Now, with this, um, with single cycle, you would actually have to hand wheel the probe into position and run it. Here, we need to actually set up the start position for the feature. And would that be off your drawing or something like that? Yeah, you could do it off the drawing. You can manually type it in. But to try and make things really easy, we've added this function where you can actually hand wheel the probe. So we can now hand wheel the probe down to above that surface. And I can press these capture buttons. Great. So that's teaching it in then, really? That's right. So that teaches the position in. So you can do that for every single feature around this program. It just makes it very, very easy to program. But I don't have to do that every time. That's just the first time when I'm setting up this program. That's right. So we're just doing it to set this program up, and then that's locked in. Great. OK. So we've got that now. I can hit the plus symbol, and that's now added it into the sequence and into the program. Yeah, I'm seeing the path that the probe's going to take there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we have our very basic toolpath view here just to give you uh, an indication of where the probe's going to go. Great, OK, and I can see it's going up to some sort of safety plane there. Yeah, that's right. So to make it really easy, when you add in a feature, you also get a retract move directly after it. So this is to make it simple for people with very little experience with probing. They don't have to worry about the movements between the features. It will always measure a feature, retract up, across, and then down and measure the other feature. Great. OK, so that's complete. Now we have a program. So as before, I can hit the Send button. That's going to send that to the NC and set it as the main program in this case. OK, so I guess that can be run. But in the case where we're putting it into a cutting program, that would be called as a subroutine. That's right, yeah. So I can actually now put this into memory and run it to prove the program out. It's an automated program, so it will do any tool changes, switch the probe on, all of those things. But as you quite already said, uh, I can output this as a sub-program, so this could then be called directly from a cutting program. Great. So while that's taken the measurements, we can have a bit of a talk about the control. So this is a Windows a base control, Smooth X, also the Smooth G and Smooth AI. This yeah, that's right. Because it's a Windows-based application, it means we can install directly on these controls, and it's got uh, a, a proper integration with the NC. Really easy for the user to use. OK, so the measurements have been taken there. Um, so the work offset's been set. What else has happened in the background? So we do store the results off in the macro variables, but we actually have an additional application called Reporter, uh, and that actually will store the results to a database. Uh, and anything you measure on the machine can be stored there and look back the whole history of your measurement that you've got. Great. So that's gone to work. It's gone to the work offset. It's gone to the machine variables, the Reporter app as well. Yeah. And um, I understand that tool setting would be the same. Absolutely. Yeah. We can program the spindle probe as we've seen. We can also program our non-contact tool setters and our contact tool setters and see the results of those in the reporter app as well. Great. Seems to cover it. If you like what you've seen, please speak to your local Masac office or go to renishaw.com forward slash on machine apps.